Film jammers. Konnichiwa, film jammers. Today we're going to be unboxing the Tilta Nucleus M wireless follow focus system. We'll show you what's included in the kit and give our first impressions. Are you ready to unbox, baby? So there are more and more options for wireless follow focus systems every year. <laughs> In my day, we only ever had one. Many are calling the Tilta Nucleus M the first truly affordable wireless follow focus setup for indie filmmakers. It's right around the $1,200 mark for the kit, while most other wireless follow focus systems cost many thousands or even tens of thousands of dollars more. Call $1,200 affordable? It's probably one of the reasons these kits are still hard to buy and back ordered at most retailers. Let's see what's in this box. It's my follow focus in a box, girl. B and H packaging. I like it. It's a good sign. Let's see what happens here. Ooh, very nice. Bubble wrap. Mm. Okay. Okay, so here's the box that it comes in. We're gonna get it open. It's got a little tab on the one side. Mm. Comes with a nice hard case here. Very cool. So let's check out and see what's inside here. Ooh, wow. Instruction manual, that's key to understanding what's going on. Um, we've got, looks like a strap here. I'm strapped, yo. We've got handles right here, very cool. These are actually for attaching to your rig and you can really need pull the focus or use any of the motors here with these little knobs. And there's also a joystick on the back of one of them right here that controls your zoom. There, that little zoom control controls one of the motors. This is the hand wheel system. Turns, adjust your focus. So once it's powered up, you'll see that there is a menu system that'll come up on screen that lets you control a lot of the options and features of the wireless follow focus. Next are the Ari Rosette clamps, plates, I'm not sure what they're called. Um, but anyway, they go onto your handles here so that you can attach to your rig, so they can boom, stick it on your rails or your setup, just like that. Okay, so next they've included these really nice little um, attachments for a gimbal. So you can attach your handles here to a gimbal, which is a really nice feature, and that lets you control it, you know, if you're holding a gimbal, for example, and you wanna have access to your focus or to your zoom or to your iris, it's right there on your handles. So really cool feature. So this kit is gonna include two motors, okay? I've lost all my motor functions, right? These will attach onto your rails right here. And they are um, very powerful little motors. They, they got a good solid feel to them, they're metal. Um, so the other cool thing about these is you can daisy chain them. So once they're on your rig, for example, you can set them here and then daisy chain them with the included Limo cables. What? Right up here, Limo. What's that stand for? I'm not sure, but it's a, it doesn't stand for anything. Limo cables, so it, they include a bunch of these in there. Let me set these down. And these attach right here. So you daisy chain those guys, boom, right there. Next one, okay, I think I wanna have uh, another motor. Okay, well, well you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna daisy chain it. Look at that, boom. And uh, mm -hmm. it's as easy as that, look at that. Daisy chained, mm-hmm, follow focus, wireless. And now to power um, all of the motors, you're gonna need a P-tap. So typically most of your batteries will have these. Um, and this basic, ooh, hello. Tilta, Nucleus M. So this is gonna be your P-tap cable to power the motors. So once you get this connected, you're gonna be able to daisy chain all of the other motors if you attach multiple motors to your setup. So P-tap to Limo. Doesn't go that way. Don't, don't connect it like that. Next, they've got these really cool marking discs, white marking discs, and those are the same as this one here. So you're gonna put the uh, marking disc right around there. If you wanna you know, mark it with a marker, you can take it off and then you know, you've got a couple backups. And then a little secret in here, boom, look at that. They've included some lens gears right here. That's a, a bonus feature. So if your lens doesn't have gears, like if you're using a, not a cinema lens, a still lens, you can put these on your lens. And then you have gears for which the follow focus can grip. <laughs> Lastly, we have the Allen key. Some people might call it a hex screwdriver. I call it 
a hex screwdriver. What you want to do is hook this up right here. You've got a little screw and that's going to allow you to attach this to your camera. Screw like so. This is just for demonstration purposes. Don't actually do it like that. One last item is uh, the uh, battery charger. So this is your charger. It'll charge the wireless batteries that are going to, actually the batteries aren't wireless. They're actually just regular rechargeable batteries. Um, but the rechargeable batteries are gonna go in here. So it takes two batteries to power this guy. Also takes two batteries to power each of your hand units. What, that's a lot of batteries. Good thing I've got six, just kidding, 12 on order from Amazon. There's also a couple extra limo cables here for attaching multiple motors. Again, you get two motors with the kit. Um, you can buy multiple additional motors. I think you can actually power up to four, but really three is gonna be what most people want. They're gonna want you know one for zoom, one for focus, and one for the iris. It's like the Triforce of Notice. So that's our unboxing of the Tilted Nucleus M Wireless Follow Focus. Unboxing is so sexy. We'll also be doing a review with sample footage as well in the coming weeks, so keep an eye out for that. What do you think about the Nucleus M? Is it the best wireless follow focus for the price? Or is there a better one? Let us know in the comments below. And as always, please like and subscribe. That's a wrap. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! Uh, I have an itch. Can you itch me real quick? Sorry. Where? It's like on to the right of my mouth. This will be on the camera. <laughs> Down. Yeah. <laughs>